Since getting the shed built, it's motivated to sort some other storage problems out. Number one is this drill. So there's a few problems I want to solve. One being to move it around. Now, I did make a mobile base for this, but it ended up nicking the casters for something else. So I need to do that. And then I'm thinking, this is a lot of dead space under the table because I might lower the table a little more, but not much more. I was doing some research on storage options and I got reminded I had these Bisley cabinets. More about that later. So I'm thinking I can get those under there. But let's do this in order. So mobility first and then storage. So what I have to make the base is a couple of bits of ply laminated together. This was actually a mistake from another project. So I think it's an 18 and a 12, so it's gonna be nice and solid. So I'm just gonna get this cut down to size on the table saw. So I've got something as a base, but it needs to be mobile. And what I have are these casters. These are quite small 50 mil ones, but they've got double wheels, so they're really heavy duty. I'm just gonna get them positioned into each corner and then mark out where they need to go. I'm going to bolt them on and I want the bolts to be recessed so I'm going to get a force in a bit and drill down a shallow hole for the head of the bolt to go into. The force in a bit leaves a little indentation in the middle of each hole. So now I'm going to swap out to a 7mm bit I'm going to use six mil bolts and this just gives me a little bit of leeway and now drill through on that center point. Now the bolts can go through and get a caster on, some washers on and some nuts on. Right, that's all four on. I guess I better try and get the drill on here. This thing is all cast iron, so it's pretty heavy. But hopefully, get it on this base, and that'll be the last time I have to lift it. It's coming in and out of the house a few times now. All four wheels lock on this, so I'm gonna get them done. That should help not having it move around on me. Okay, I don't really recommend doing this on your own, but I think we'd better do it. Ah, yeah, we're on. I wanna get this secured onto the base, and what I have is some coach screws. So, there's three mounting points on this. I'm gonna drill some pilot holes and get this bolted down. Okay, that's locked on there and it seems to move around nicely. So now, onto the storage component. So the plan is to put those Bisley cabinets under there, but I can't just shove them under there. I'm gonna make a wooden box for them to kind of go into. And what I have is a bit of leftover 18 mil OSB. I think I'm gonna go 90, so I've got plenty of room to be able to move the table down still. I'm 
I'm going to get all the components I need for this cut out using the track saw. So we've got three bits cut, all to the same length, but one's not as wide as the others, and that's the back. So I've got the back and the two sides. So now I get some glue applied and get it screwed together. Okay, starting to come together. I've got some more bits of wood that cut the same thickness or the same width as the back piece, so they will fit inside. Then I can just mark out how long they're going to need to be, and I think I'll get them cut on the table saw. Right, get these bits glued and screwed in. So I'm going to start with the obvious placements, and that is at the top and the bottom. So that's the obvious ones in place. Now I think I'm going to need to actually grab the drawer units to work out the place of the next one. All right, fit in, that's good. So you can see I've made it with a gap at the top and that's because I want to make my own drawers to go in here. And I'll show you why in a bit. So I can get a bit of wood on top of these and then split the difference there, I think. I picked some little scraps of wood off the floor and put it on top of the cabinet just so if I need to remove the cabinet in the future, it's not going to be super tight in there. Right, so now I'm just going to split the difference, but what I think I'd do is find a bit of wood to sit as a spacer to sit the shelf on. Just found another off cut on the floor, so I think that would be fine as a spacer. It means the drawers would be different heights, but that might be quite useful. So you might have noticed that I've got these cabinets protruding out the front. And you might have thought I've meshed that all wrong, but it was, well, kind of intentional because I didn't have enough wood to be able to get the two sides and the back out of it um, and have it the full width. So I decided I could live with the cabinets hanging out the front. Right. Let's have a little look, see if this is gonna fit. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I think next though, we need to look at a way of actually keeping this on here securely. So I've been having a little think about how to secure this, but I want it easily removable in case I wanna lower this table any more than that. And this thing's not light at the moment and there's nothing in there. It feels pretty secure, but the one thing it could tip forward because there's no support at the front. So what I think I'll do is just cut down a little block of wood and put it on the front and then it will sit on here nicely. I'm just going to get this piece glued and screwed onto the front and then I think I'm going to be really happy with how stable this all is.
I'm happy with this on here now, so we're onto the drawers. Two different heights, I'll start with the shallow one. I have some pallet wood. It's a bit tall at the moment, so I'm just gonna plane down one side. I put one straight edge on all these bits, so now I'm gonna rip down the other bit parallel on the table saw. So these drawers need to be 34 centimeters deep so I can get a couple of bits cut on the table saw. I now have the side bits for the drawer, but I need the front and the back bits. But before I do them, I'm gonna cut a rebate into these. So I'm gonna swap out the blade on the table saw to my six mil flat tooth grooving blade, if I get it in the right way around. What I wanna do is get a little rebate that's the thickness of the wood at the end. And I wanna go up about three quarters of the way through the wood. On the miter gauge, I've set up a stop so that the first cut will be in the right position. Then after that, I can lift the stop up and move it along and nibble away all the rest of the waste. So, got the ends cut on these. Now, I can get them put back into place and measure what the gap is for the front and the back. Right, get that cut on the table saw. Now I've got the four sides of the drawer that all fit together nicely, but I need a base in it. And what I've got is some off cuts. I think this is nine mil MDF. So I'm gonna use the grooving blade again to cut a groove in the bottom of this. So I'm gonna to have to cut one groove, knock the fence over and just widen it a little. The groove's now cut and the MDF fits in there. So now I can work out how big the bits of MDF need to be and get them cut to size. I got that in there and it all fits. So now, I can get it permanently put together. So I'm gonna get some glue put on the corners and some screws driven in. The actual base, the uh, MDF, is just gonna float in there. That's one draw complete. So now I'm gonna give it a sand down. Right, let's get the drawer in place. I won't push it all the way in, otherwise I'll never be able to get it out again at the moment. So this whole project started with a vague idea of wanting to sort out the workshop. To really come up with a plan, I needed to do some research, and that brings us to today's sponsor of the video, Readly. So while I get the second drawer made, let me tell you about them. My mission is to be less cluttered, and that's one of the reasons I love Readly. No piles of newspapers or magazines, just everything neat in one paperless place. Before, I'd find an article I like and keep the magazine as a reminder. 
With Readly, I have access to all the back issues of these magazines, and I can bookmark articles I like so I can easily find them again later. Whilst looking for ideas, I bookmarked a couple of things. Now you might think that I would look through woodworking magazines for inspiration, and there's lots available, including ones I've never seen available before, but I didn't just want to copy something someone else had done. I wanted some things that would spark my imagination. I had a good look through Idle Home magazine. Quite a few issues mentioned these metal cabinets that I already had, but I'd never considered using them on the drill, so that inspired me. I bookmarked those articles so I could come back to them later. Grand Designs has always been one of my favourite shows, and it's got a great magazine to go with it. I had a look through and came across these cabinets made out of OSB. With plywood so expensive at the moment, I thought it'd be a good idea to try using the OSB, so I bookmarked that. Now the other great thing with the app is you can zoom in to have a better look at stuff. As much as I love the woodworking and craft magazines, I find the interior design one is just as useful for what I do. But I have other interests too, and I enjoy a good flick through a photography or camera magazine as well. You can also set up multiple profiles for different family members, and that's what I've done, creating one for my mum so she can enjoy reading flower arranging and cookery magazines. Whatever your passion, take a look at Readly and I'm sure you'll find something that you find interesting. Now, if you'd like to try it for free for two months, cancel any time, then please click the link down below in the description. So thank you Readly for sponsoring this video. Now let's finish making this drill storage. I have the second drawer made. Again, I won't push it all the way in, otherwise I'll never get it out again. So that is something we need to address. Now, I know I just explained all my reasons for using OSB. And I do think the link look is kind of cool, but in here I've gone for kind of a black, gray, white, badgery themed, and I could sand this down and varnish it, but I think I'd rather just paint it. I've got some barn paint left from the shed build. Saying that, I did like working with the OSB. I think it goes together a lot nicer than MDF. Anyway, I'm gonna get this outside and paint it. Whilst I wait for that black paint to dry, I can finish these drawers. So what I've got is some wax polish. I'm gonna get that applied and then it can be buffed off in about an hour. So I've mentioned it a few times, I can't push these drawers all the way in, otherwise I won't get them out again. So I need to make some pulls for them. And what I've got is a little scrap of leather, I'm gonna cut down, punch a hole in, and then get screwed on. So I've got some little brass screws and some brass screw caps that I'm going to use to get these attached. So I could get everything put back in here now, but I've mentioned that I would like the ability to be able to lift this off if I need to lower the tables. So I think what would be helpful is some handles. And what I've got is a little scrap of some peely. So what I'm gonna do, I think is cut down a couple of pieces to go either side to act as handles. So I've got a nice angle on that, which will help me get my hands under it. So I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes through from this side. Now I can get this screwed in place from the inside. Oh yeah, 
that works great. So I think just to make these look a little nicer, I'm gonna finish them with a bit of oil. So I think that's it all done. Now I can just get it filled back up. Now I can fill up these wooden drawers. So as much as I love the metal ones, they're just a bit too shallow for some things. And that is my hole saws when they're all stacked up onto each other and some forcing a bit, the larger ones in their cases. So they will finally have a home now. So that's it all done. Some dead space used up and I finally have space for some of my hole saws and other bits. So really pleased with that. So thank you to Readly for sponsoring this video. Please check the link to them down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.